What is going on, peeps? Welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercar Season 6. As always, if you guys enjoy it, see, like, comment, and subscribe, as always, for the top-notch Supercar content that I can provide for you today on YouTube these days. So, uh, today's video isn't going to be something incredibly crazy. It's just like preview stuff and other stuff like that, I guess you could say, because... I honestly, uh, you know, currently have no credits, and I currently, because uh, I have to <laughs> wait to get something cleared, I also do not, uh, nothing special event-wise, because I'm still doing my team Battleground Award, like, my team already won, but, and I'm currently waiting for our team to win this one, we should guarantee get the guaranteed win here, because the other team did not bother, thankfully, so, we will get another easy W, however, so, uh, this will just be a basic update video on stuff. Uh, Royal Rumble is going well. I did open up an LP pack. So, uh, here you guys go with that right here. It's black as well. It's like emo bird. It's great. Yikes, I recorded that part. <laughs> I'll cut it off. Oh, you say the emo bird. Oh, the first thing you say is black. Oh. <laughs> so, it just sounds really weird. All right, fuck it. Uh, let's see what I get. I bet I get Summer 19s. Let me know, Liddy. Anything good, I'll click away. Ready, Liddy? Yeah. Click. Ooh. Hey. That'd be a pro for me. All right, it's a Nightmare Marina Sharif. The question is that last card. Can it be something good? Oh, Sharif. I call her Sharif. I don't know why. I know it's Shafir, but I call her Sharif. <laughs> As you can see, guys, I did not struck the most best goal in the world. But, hey, so I'm currently doing my Royal Rumble. I got one day to get 7,000 points. It's going to be tough, but I think I can do it. Uh, Rumble is kind of easy, especially with the cards I have. Now, I did get an amazing pull last night while playing. I was on 69 resets. And, lo and behold, I get myself a pro, Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, great helps me get up the tier. It gets me out of base tier. I could not stand base. However, I have no momentum slots as of right now. I got zero. And once I get five, who knows where it will put me. Uh, we just, I, this is currently my top eight. So I don't know where it would put me. It'll probably put me at the end of Primal Plus. Or it could put me into Primal Plus Plus because I swear this tiers are wickedly close but we have a good shot i do not want to use my ladder rewards until vanguard however if it comes a time where I try to get the event card i might have to risk one of those ladder rewards unfortunately but uh yeah i just need some luck with some to get some pros over the next four or so uh, three to four days uh, exactly because once the thing is locked out it's locked out now this is still here uh, it will disappear in a few events already over, but we did get the Eric card and then we get a team road to glory Which I was not expecting at all uh, And it's Ivar so it's another you know Tag team type of thing You know We got Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder tag AJ uh, with the, uh, the OC, but yeah, there's Carl Anson over there the Usos and then of course Eric now as the Primal, which is actually a decent card in the tier. And then, of course, Ivar. I believe he's like rank 19 or so in the tier for Vanguard. So, honestly, he's not the most amazing card, but he's also not one of the worst. It's like 29 or 30 something card. Ivar does not, he's near the middle, so it's not that bad. Team points have not changed at all, so this should be extremely easy. For my team, at least, we're a Primo Plus team, so we should definitely not struggle like crazy. We got 20 members, some amazing grinders on this team, so I don't see us struggling at all until probably Ivar is when the, the shitty decks will come and F us up, but that's okay. We'll survive. Now, people have been telling me, Ed, uh, for the quest and the Gooker, is there any easy way to get this card, like all of them? And to be honest with you guys, I'm going to be straightforward with you. There is not an easy way to get this. I don't care what anyone tells you. There's not an easy way. Turkey and yams are literally unpullable from the board. Even though you can pull it, there's been proof someone has pulled it. Uh, they're, they're more rare than your tier pull at this point. It's like getting an icon in a pack in FIFA. 
So getting these cards is that, but honestly, after seeing this Fortify 3, it's not even worth it. It's not. It's it's a shit card to begin with. If I were you guys, just get these three, the baked potato, the green beans, and the cornbread, which should be very doable for everyone. Just play the game. You don't have to do anything besides just play the game. You'll, you'll literally get like 20 to 30 green beans a day if you go crazy. You know, you get 10, 20 cornbread a day if you go crazy. You can get like 5 to 10 baked potatoes a day if you go crazy. Hell, even more than that. Open up your free packs when it's in the store, when they have it. And you'll get Fortify 1 Gooker easy. Now, Fortify 1 Gooker is nothing to go holy shit about, uh, as you can see right here. Those are his stats. Still got to play some of his matches, but it's not good. It's not. like this. Here's my uh, regular pro, Cameron Grimes. And he freaking pretty much destroys this card. Even with just get, I know his games are played, but they don't go up by much, as you can see here. It's like 500. So this card literally uh, two stats him, but nearly three stats him. But then here's my Fortify 1 uh, Jackson. And uh, I believe he three stats him. Yep, at least three stats him. Almost four stats his ass. So... It's just not good at all. It's a, it's a shit card to begin with. Uh, just ignore it. I'm sure my Luke Gallows will just probably beat Gooker as well. And Gooker is the worst card on the tier. So, guys, my advice, just get the Fortify 1. Uh, if you are low tier, just Pro 1 and keep 1 as a single until you're ready to Fortify it. But that's just my advice to you as a player. Uh, so, yeah, there's nothing much that I can really do here. Uh, Royal Rumble has been easier though when you use uh, Primal and Vanguard cards. So guys, I would recommend you guys use those cards in your Royal Rumble to get the most points because it, it just seems like all their cards are dumb now. But has, how are the procs on the bots cards are fucking stupid. 40 to 60k range for procs. So it sucks. But yeah guys, that's all I have for today. Nothing crazy much or anything at all. Uh, just the basic stuff. Why is my camera so fucking dark? Jesus. Alright, I'm out guys. Peace, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next episode.